This video will show you how to create a contract. To add a new contract, select Setup, Inventory, Packages, and click Add Contract. Fill in the contract information at the top of the page. The mandatory fields are Name, Category, and update members rates. Next, we'll add our current items to the contract. Select the service or product from the item drop-down menu. You have two options for setting the quantity. You can either enter in a quantity and use the item price to calculate the item total, or you can tick unlimited and enter in the total price in the item total area. There are two options for expiry. You can either have a fixed expiry where the item will expire from the members remaining tab in the time frame chosen. An example of this would be one month. Keep in mind that this is generally the same as the renewal payment cycle. Or you can set a specific date where the item will expire from the members remaining tab on the date chosen. Click Add. Next, it's time to set our renewal details. Select the type of contract. In Volo, you can create four different types of contracts. A term contract is where there are a fixed number of payments. An ongoing contract is where there are an unlimited number of payments. A paid in full contract is where there is a single payment for the entire contract. And complimentary is where there are no payments at all. Enter in how many times you want the contract to renew. This only applies to term contracts. Then, either set the contract to renew within a certain time frame or when there are a certain number of items remaining. Last, we'll set our contract details. The initiation fee adds to the total contract value. This fee will be applied at the time of signing. For the down payment, you now have two options. Apply to all, meaning that for term contracts, the down payment will subtract the down payment amount from the total contract value and will divide the remaining contract value by the number of payments. Or prepay, where Volo will take the amount of the down payment and will apply it to subsequent payments until it is all used up. Select how many payments you'd like to offer for free from the start date and tick this box if you'd like to offer the last payment for free. Set your cancellation notice and make a selection for what the contract will do at the end. You can either choose no renewal, which means that the contract will end, additional term, which means that the contract will go into an additional term, or converts to ongoing, which means that the contract will become a month-to-month -month contract. Set your conditions for the contract and click Save and Exit.